Is Andrew Yang's VAT a good idea? So Andrew Yang wants to implement a value-added tax, uh, simply known as VAT. So all countries, all Western countries, have a value-added tax, um, except America. And Andrew Yang says, by implementing a value-added tax, we can uh, pay for most of the universal basic income uh, that Andrew wants to implement. And, you know, it's a good idea. He said the value-added tax will raise approximately $800 billion. And, uh, you know, it's a huge chunk of money. And uh, the VAT will basically monetize or tax, uh, you know, every Google search, every uh, Facebook search, uh, every robot truck mile. And it just, and it all adds up to approximately $800 billion a year. So... That's pretty good, uh, but the concern here is the value-added tax is known to burden uh, lower classes in society. Um, where you know Andrew said something, he wants it to be half of the European rate. The European rate is twenty percent, so that would be ten percent. Uh, you know, ten percent doesn't sound like a lot, uh, but to someone who's on the lower side. Uh, of, of the economy in, in, in life in general, 10%, you know, could be a lot. So there's a valid concern there. Why are we going to burden the poor in America with a value-added tax, um, you know, when it's just, it's just detrimental to the poor? It, it's, you know, we got to figure this out. But I did hear Andrew say uh, in his George Stephanopoulos interview on ABC that there's a way to tailor the value-added tax uh, at the top on luxury items more than consumer goods. So that's good to know because I haven't heard Andrew Andrew Yang say that uh, as as of just until a couple days ago. So that's good that the value-added tax will fall mostly on the wealthy as it should, uh, and then not so much on the poor, lower, and middle classes. So that's a good thing about the value-added tax. Um, I've heard a lot of people really just get upset about it and say, no, we can't do that, and there's valid concern there, uh, and, and you're, you're right to be concerned about that. But the goal is Andrew Yang is going to tailor it. Now, he hasn't said how he's going to tailor it. I would love to see the charts. I would love to see the schematics, the math, the data when it comes to how he's going to tailor uh, and where he's going to tailor uh, the VAT, uh, the value-added tax up top on the wealthy. Like, I want to see that. He said, he said he's promoting it, but he has not showed us any plans. He has not really opened it up uh, too deep and let us know the details. But that's something to look forward to. That's something to uh, kind of call him out on. Uh, as the debates open up and, you know, we get, we're full swing in the uh, primary season. It's a good question to, to ask Andrew to elaborate on how he would tailor the VAT tax. So I just wanted to run that by you. Um, hope you're having a good one. Like, share, subscribe, click the bell on the side.